Hi guys, welcome to this three part tutorial series and I'll be teaching you guys how to take a video from looking like this to this in these three videos. So today we'll be learning how to do the velocity for your edits using Twixter. So let's get started. So whatever I teach you in this tutorial can be applied to any other video game because these are basic fundamentals and they don't really change. So the first thing I'm going to show you guys is how to do slow motion for montages. And in order to do that, we first need to create a Twixter preset. So I'm just going to search up Twixter in the effects panel and add Twixter Pro to whatever clips I want the slow motion on. And then we only really need to worry about a couple of these settings over here. So the first thing that we're going to look at is our frame rate, which we can find right over here where all our project files are. And as you can see, it says 59.997. So I'm just going to put 60 because 0.003 FPS isn't really going to affect anything. So the next thing that, that we were going to look at is the image prep. We're going to set that to contrast edge enhance. After that, we're just going to look at the frame interpolation, which we're going to set to motion weighted blend. And then we're going to look at the warping. And I'm just going to set that to forward. You can use inverse with smart blend. They're actually pretty similar, but from my experience, this works best for Valorant. So that's what I'm going to set that to. And now we basically have the Twixter preset set. That's all we really need to worry about. So you can just select the effect. Go to animation, save animation preset, and just save it over here. I set it as Twixter GMV because because it's a bit different for AMV. So you can you can save it as whatever you really want. So now that we have the Twixter settings done, so now we can actually make the clip look like it's in slow motion. So I'm just gonna set the speed to 20. But once we do that, as you can see, it sets the whole clip speed to 20, which sets us back in time. And in order to fix that, we actually need to set a keyframe of 100 to make sure that only the stuff after that keyframe is slowed down. So now once I hit play, this is what it looks like. Okay, so a lot of stuff needs to be fixed right now, but at least we got the slow motion going. So this 20 keyframe, this is our main keyframe, right? This is actually going to go all the way in the back. And on the first frame of the video, we're actually going to put 200. Now this is what we have. Okay, so we're getting close, but now what we need is a graph. So I'm just, I'm just going to select these two keyframes. Press F9. It doesn't matter if you easy ease this keyframe. So I'm just going to leave that there for now. And I'm just going to make this graph real quick. You can see pretty much what that does. So using this technique, you can pretty much twixter anything. And this is for slow motion. This is not for velocity, by the way. For velocity, we're going to have to change a couple steps, but it's pre pretty similar. So for velocity, what we're going to do is that we're going to bring this 20 keyframe right around there, like somewhere in the middle. And then we're going to go to the last frame and set that back to 200 and make this graph. Something like this. Alright, make sure it's not too sharp. Like, make sure it's not like this. Right? If you do this, it's just gonna like... It's just gonna make it too sharp and it's just not gonna look good. It's not gonna look smooth. So I, I recommend that your graph looks kind of like a U. Right? Something like this. So now we're just gonna do this to every single clip. Starting with the first one. Now what we want to do is copy the Twixter from this clip to the first one. And then we're going to make sure that the color source matches the layer number. Otherwise, it's not going to work the way you want it to. And then I'm going to select all the keyframes and make sure that the first keyframe is one frame before the clip actually starts. Then what I can pretty much do is select all of these, go to the last frame of the clip, hold down alt and bring all of these together like this. What this is going to do is that it doesn't affect the graph at all. And if you try to do it some other way, it's probably going to mess up your graphs and you're going to have to do them again. So you can save a lot of time by doing it this way. So now we have to do this one last time to the middle clip. So just copy and paste the effect onto it and make sure that the first keyframe is one frame before the clip starts. And then we can hold on alt to bring in all the keyframes together. And now all that's left to do is to adjust the clip to our liking and we're done. And to fix this weird warp on the first frame, I can actually easy ease the first keyframe and then just move the handles until you fix it. And of course, make sure you don't change the main graph because that's not what we want. And now we are done with the velocity. So in the next two parts of the series, I'll show you guys how to do the pan crop and some shakes. 
So that's it for this tutorial and I'll see you guys in the next one.